Hey friends, it's Sonya Miller and Junk Monkey Paint Company. Welcome back to my channel. It's time to get the day started. And you know what that means? It's time for souped up coffee. And by souped up jazz up coffee, I mean putting yummy things into it. So ran next door. You guys know my favorite place to go all the way down the street, right? So I've got me some decaffeinated coffee and some heavy whipping cream. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my coconut oil. Grab me a whole heaping spoonful of that. Who else loves coconut oil, coconut oil out there? This makes me crave like, what are the coconut bars? The ones with the... Yeah, it makes me think of like bounty bars. You know what it wants? That's Canadian. It is? Mounds are What's American. the mound? The mounds and the bounty. Oh my goodness. See, these are the things. These are the things that you have to deal with when you move from Canada to the U.S. Knowing the names of your bars. Okay, look how yummy that looks, guys. Oh my gosh. Can you come in for a quick look? This is all going to melt down and look at all that yumminess. Oh yeah. All right. some junk in today because as I said with us uh, doing our paint challenge coming up this week that means I've got to find some good pieces to paint so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a drive down here um, we're very lucky here in Lady to be in a place where there's lots of little like antique shops and oddity shops kind of throughout the area and uh, even on like on the just on the outskirts of Ligonier so it's just literally a five minute drive down the road and this is one of my favorite places to go it's filled with all kinds of different it's a fleet teak and it's all filled with different sorts of um, vendors and um, people who bring stuff in change out their items that sort of thing right so I'm excited are you excited let's go Take a look at all the junk right here, okay? I don't know about you, but it is calling my name. This is one of my favorite places to go. So come, let's go check it out. So I don't know about you, but I just think this chair is so cute. It's 15 bucks. And um, I think it's adorable. Like if I were to put this out front of a door, I wouldn't even do anything with it. Like it's just perfect. It's just shabby distress. It's really weather beaten. I love the blue on top of it. Imagine it with um, a pot of really pretty posies of flowers on top of that. Wouldn't that just be the bee's knees? I'm loving that. Look at those big chairs. These are awesome to paint. It doesn't, I don't really mind when I see like fabric like this in the chair because you guys know, all we have to do is turn the chair upside down, flip out the screws, and then we can go ahead and we can get new padding. Do you guys remember when I took you to Facebook? I'm um, sorry, took you to Walmart. It was a Facebook Live I did and I showed you that you can actually buy pre-made cut out uh, chair pads. And so you would just basically just take this pad off, put a fresh one down on there. That way you don't really have to wonder, you know, where is this fabric been to? And you can just totally recover it and paint it new. This will be a beautiful project right here. So let's keep looking around and see what we can find. And I'm loving all these crates that are out here. So somebody has obviously just dropped off a bunch of crates. These are fun to paint, to stack, to do fun things with as well. So outside there's always just a little bit of a myriad of, of junk. I would buy these if I could keep plants alive. Look, there you go, you can get some plants for four bucks. Pretty cool. Again, if you really wanted to, you could cut a circle into them and drop a pot of plant down into them. You could go ahead and paint them and put them in the, like maybe like the corner of a room. Just one single chair sometimes in a corner of a room that you paint your most favorite accent color and then you go get a pillow of your choice that you really, really love to put on it. Mwah, absolutely cute. And okay, before we go inside, can we just take a moment for this chippy shelf in here? Like, would you even do anything with that white chippy shelf? I think I would just leave it as is because it's beautiful. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. In fact, that would be so cute in my shop. 
with my, you know, with our monkey shine wax, dis wax on it to display or something like that, right? So take a look, all kinds of like, you know, odds and ends. I don't know about you, but you know, I do believe that one person's junk is another person's treasure, right? So this shop is owned by a lovely lady by the name of Pam. She is so sweet and always takes care of me when I come in here. So I think she's in the back taking care of customers. We're gonna walk through here. What really surprised me was the first time I came was not only the amount of things that are in here, but like how far it goes. Love me when I spot a sale. So you guys know when you go to Flen Flender, I think I just made up something. Uh, when you go to flea market vendor spaces that a lot of the vendors will have their own sales, which is pretty cool. So I always watch for this as well, because not only if I find something that's great that I think I want to paint, but there could be some extra C that could be taken off at the register. Right here, this is an example. You guys know I love to paint mason jars, and here's somebody that's done this. And like, how beautiful is that, right? They put a little bit of the moss into it, filled it up. These are little things that you can do for around your home that doesn't cost a whole lot of money, right? Who loves globes? So let's figure out. Let's see here. We are here. Let's come take a look. We are right here. We're, we're PA right here. And for those of you who want to know where I'm from, it's right here, the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. solid wood. This would be a beautiful piece to redo and it has some really cool um, design on it as well right there. Really nice pop pure eye candy. So I don't know why but I'm drawn to this. I love it. It's all the vivid colors right so somebody obviously donated this like getting rid of it wants it to go to a new home. What would I do? We would totally paint up the frame to stress it how about if we did it in like a Liberty Blue? Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh yeah, or even a misty color. Misty aqua would want to be really, really light. Don't look, but there's a creepy crown, clown right there. Oh my gosh, look at this oversized clock. Like, hello? Oh, and it's Garfield. This might be the size of an alarm clock that I truly need to wake myself up with in the morning, okay? Me and Garfield, one thing we both have in common is we don't like Mondays, but we do love lasagna, right? Oh my gosh, guys, what a deal. Look at this, a cedar chest on for $20. It looks like it was on for 60, and it is a Lane cedar chest. <laughs> Cool, right? So if you're a junk monkey, I know that you're looking at this right now going, oh my gosh, for 20 bucks, this could be a beautiful bench. Uh, you could store your stuff into it, put it at the end of your bed, you know, have it for like even for shoes going out the door as an entranceway piece. I look past the veneer that's currently on it because you guys know as well as I do, we can totally junk monkey up this sucker. It ha even has all the original hardware, which means we could take off the hardware, we could spray paint them, put them back on and turn this piece into something beautiful. I think this is a winner. What do you guys think? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? And what did I get today? I don't know because I like to keep a secret, right? So you guys are gonna have to tune in next week over on our Facebook page when we kick off our live marathon of paint challenges and we whip out some finds that we found today to be able to paint and make beautiful. So success. All right, all right time to take a walk. This is the part of the day where we get out to stretch our brain, our legs, and uh, there is a really good bookstore around the corner that I want to take you guys to. Plus, Aloria, Aloria, what's the name of that book that you've been telling me about? Maximum Ride. Maximum Ride by 
James, James Patterson. Who? Patterson. Patterson. Has anybody read that book before? I am an avid book reader. I love to read books. I actually love, love, love books. And so to be able to go up to the store around the corner here is going to be amazing today. We're going to see if it has that book. It's a used bookstore. But again, one person's junk is another person's treasure. So come on with me. Okay, this is the part where you have to look away. You guys saw the vlog the other day. If not, go watch it where I went in and I tried the butternut, was not butternut squash, what was it called? Butter pecan yogurt ice cream. It was amazing, okay? Yeah, it was just some right here, the butter pecan yogurt. It was so good, oh my gosh. But today we're on a mission, we're on a mission, we're on a mission. By the way, if you happen to hear any big booms, not the construction that you hear behind us, but big booms that make you go, what the heck? That is because we are very close to Fort Ligonier where they also put off cannons and throughout the day you can possibly hear them here so it could be a little frightening the first time you hear them. We are here! Second chapter books. Oh my gosh, I love it in here. I love the feel of it in here. And I know it's gonna feel really good when I open this door because they also have AC. Because it is like, I think almost 80 degrees here today. Phew, we're doing a little bit of sweating. All right, come on in. Ah, uh, do you see already? Ooh, the bells are ringing just for us. Hey, Lori. Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay, I gotta tell you, one of the reasons I came here is to get a book that Lori has suggested to me. It's called Maximum Ride by James Patterson. Would you happen to have that? I don't, but I've had it. Yeah. And I can get it back in. Let's do it. Okay. okay. While you do that, okay. Right, we'll set up. It's okay if I take a spin around your shop. Please do. Uh, because this is, it is beautiful in here. I love, love, love everything. So it's really cool because it not only is it a bookstore and is it a secondhand bookstore, which I love the fact that we can recycle and reuse and repurpose somebody else who's finished with their book, but it's also very beautiful in here. So if you look around, you see all the little gifts. So it's like it's like a two-in-one. You get to shop and look at all the pretty stuff and to find some new books to read, right? Guys, I don't know if you were on here when we did our 20-day milk paint challenge. If you didn't, I've actually uploaded them to YouTube so you can go have fun and watch them. You could actually get me, watch me painting this table. This is a milk paint table that we did together. Who remembers it? We used the red ochre on the bottom. We did some yellow and browns, and I'm trying to think all the colors that we used, maybe even a little bit of the uh, bake apple. But this was a sunflower table that I hand painted. And um, here in Ligonier, what beautiful support I got from Lori who came and purchased it for her store. So right here, look at this right here. You can sit here, you can come, you can sit down, you can read a book. to come in. I did take her recommendation and this is the book that I'm going to get into this weekend. Don't ask me to pronounce the name. I don't know. Matt, how do you pronounce that name? Pachinko. Pachinko, okay. And she told me it was a really, really, really good book. So I am going to plan this weekend to sit outside if it doesn't rain and do a little reading. And with that, it is time to end this vlog because yes, it is a weekend. Yes, it is Friday. And I cannot wait to get into this book. Maybe just kind of chill out a little bit. So we're gonna go edit this vlog, get it up for you guys, and we'll see you back again on Tuesday. Remember, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, watch for a vlog here on our Junk Monkey channel. And I better watch where I'm going. All right, take care.